we're in the, the mid 1800s. Um, American Jewry is not that large. It's before massive immigration from Eastern Europe. Um, right. See some connections uh, with uh, between John Tyler and uh, individual Jews, maybe the Jewish community. Uh, Mordechai Noah comes to mind in the 1840s. Just a little bit about that. I mean, I don't, it doesn't sound like it was a significant part of Tyler's presidency or whatever, but so if you can elucidate a little bit on, on Mordecai Noah and that relationship. Yeah, Mordecai Noah was a, a pretty prominent figure uh, in New York City history, particularly in the 1830s and 1840s. He had at one point, I think under the Madison administration, had been the U.S. Consul of Tunisia. Um, he had been a Jacksonian Democrat. Um, in fact, at one point, I believe he was Grand Sachem of Tammany Hall, the Democratic political machine in New York City. He also served for a time on the criminal bench of New York City. And he was also a journalist, which is really how he and Tyler came to cross paths in the uh, early 1840s. Uh, Noah actually liked Tyler's approach to politics, liked that middle of the road approach. Uh, so I guess Noah kind of you know, realized what Tyler was all about when later historians haven't given him credit for that. Uh, liked the notion that Tyler was trying to bring both sides together, um, found that a paper called The Union, uh, which became a, a pro-Tyler paper, that was really, at least in its infancy, designed to try to drum up support for Tyler in New York City. Noah also became the head of the Tyler General Committee in New York City, and it was in this capacity that he acted as a political operative for John Tyler. Uh, at one point, Tyler sent Noah down to Richmond, Virginia, to meet with Thomas Ritchie, another newspaper editor, perhaps the most influential uh, newspaper editor in the country at the time. He was the uh, editor of the Richmond Inquirer. And the goal or the mission for Noah to go down there was to find out if Southern Democrats and Virginia Democrats more specifically would support Tyler's run for president in 1844. Uh, Ritchie uh, told Noah that no, they would not support Tyler. Uh, Noah went back to Washington, had a meeting with Tyler at the White House where he informed him of the bad news. And at one point, um, Noah told Tyler that he believed that the way Tyler was trying to go about building a third party was not the way to do it. Tyler had tried to use the patronage, had tried to uh, throw out everybody that didn't support him from the patronage positions throughout the United States and tried to replace them with pro-Tyler men. Uh, Noah thought this was a wrong-headed approach, and on that, they, they largely parted company. <laughs> 